Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to set sail as it were and get out of this place. First of all, let's have a look at how I was getting the energy. I've changed some things. So what I discovered is this block here, as you can see, a blue magma block. So if we have a look at this, and for example, we have a look here for, at blue high temperature. So if you have a look at the right, if you right click this one, it shows you its usages. But if you left click it, you see what the different, the different types are. And you've got actually four different types in here. So here it tells you what the efficiency is. So with the soul comfort, we get an efficiency of one. With a beacon, which we can't yet do, of course, we get an efficiency of five. And here with the blue magma block, we're getting an efficiency of two. What that means in this one is actually, that I'm not quite sure what that means. It says soul fire. Oh, I suppose if you light a soul sand or something like that underneath the, uh, underneath it, you'll get soul fire. So the recipe for blue magma block is this. So magma blocks bucket of lava and some soul sun. Magna blocks are fairly straightforward. They're just basically slime balls with a, uh, well, we can have a look. Blaze powder and slime ball will make a magma block. You can do it with other types of slime balls as well. Uh, we can mechanically squeeze uh, magma blocks, which we haven't got yet, of course, or we can chop up magnet cubes and get these. Those are the different ways. In fact, this one is a multi-press servo. We can actually press it into four, a magnet block into four of these, but that's irrelevant. Well, the one we needed was this, um, was the slime balls and um, blaze powder. So I made that, and this actually makes lava look twice as fast as these. So instead of these being taking, it takes 12 seconds to make a bucket of lava. In fact, it looks like I've run out of cobblestone. No, I haven't. So if you have a look in here, when this is running, it takes 12 seconds. Oh, no, it takes 15 seconds. So this one over here takes seven and a half seconds to make a bucket of lava. So you end up with quite a lot of lava, which I can then feed into here, like that. In fact, I'm throwing away lava by the it. Feed it into here, and that's then powering up the heat generator. Not very efficient, the heat generator. Let me take this out of here, because it's going to carry on producing lava buckets, throwing them out. I think that's, yeah, it's actually stopped. You can see it's got no blue flames under here. So that's the first thing. So that allows us to charge up this. So if we get in this now, and then press E for inventory, you can see I've now got 100% set power cell. So let's get out of here for the time being. I've got a few more things to do before we start, actually go away. Because the one thing, I've actually prepared these things here. So I've already covered this one here, these blue slime blocks, um, blue magma blocks. Um, which we want two for the other two campfires, and that'll actually speed it up enough for that to run the whole time. In fact, it should produce an excess of lava, uh, of lava which should be good. This one here is, uh, oh, I'll take away the bucket as well, we want the bucket back again. This one here is an option for torches, these mineral stone torches. They're actually pretty efficient, so what I would like to do is to get 64 of these. Uh, and what I'm going to do with these is when I go uh, exploring in the uh, on the sea, we should put a mineral torch, stone torch, whenever we've done one of those little bases, which we haven't seen yet, but where we are. And here's a jumbo tank. Now the recipe for this is four singularity tanks uh, and an iron, or four iron ingots. And the recipe for these is fairly straightforward, actually. So in total, we're only asking for 16 plus 20 iron ingots and... Uh, 20, 20 glass for that matter and then that will actually make these this jumbo tank the jumbo tank will hold 1024 buckets it's a big tank <laughs> really quite good for that price it's really efficient here is a boat an oak galley i need to make a, a bigger boat or a smaller boat. i'm not sure which i'll have a look at the recipe for this it's any type of boat plus two trip wire hooks plus a chest Plus two leads. Leads are fairly straightforward. The recipe for the leads are just slime balls, which we've made in, in the previous episode, and string, which we're getting from the mob farm or from cotton. It's either. Either way, it's not expensive. Uh, and the sail. The sail is, again, it's string. It's just wool, and it's just two, pla uh, two logs. It doesn't matter what type of wood. And then we get a sail. And the, in the actual ships mod, there's actually a, a mod called ships, small ships. small ship mod you get all of these different types of boats 
And to go the up to Oak Briggs, for example, which has got two chests in it. In fact, it actually has an internal storage. Three boats, two sails and two string. And that makes one of those. The one I was going to make was probably this one. No, the Oak Dow, because that thing the Oak Dow has got. And even with two chests, gives you a full a chest's worth. If it hasn't got two chests, then it's one we could make the Oak Warship, which is using the Oak Galley plus two two leads, plus two strings and some tripwires. Tripwires we can make, just an iron stick, uh, ironing a stick and a piece of wood, plank, that's it. Nothing special for those. So that's that one. And that's actually, we'll, we'll take that with us when we go upstairs, I think. So the next thing I want to make is this, which is a feral flare lantern from Torchmaster. Torchmaster have a few things in it, so we have a look at Torchmaster. Um, It's got about, it's actually got four items. Frozen pool. Clears residue lights from a fro. Okay, so this will actually get rid of the lights. It doesn't tell you what this one does. Places invisible lights. Um, and this one cleans them away from a frozen pool. Actually, how do we make a frozen pool? I'm not, oh, just packed ice around. And I, that's not too expensive. We can do that these days. Here we can have a dread lamp, which prevents passive mob spawning. Uh, that's what's obsidian, glowstone block, some panes of glass uh, and that black dye which we can all do fairly straightforward and this one here is the mega torch but on this sort of expensive time but that actually prevents uh, mob spawning in a radius of 120 I think 120 blocks it used to be maybe it's 64 blocks anyway mobs don't spawn around that which is quite nice sometimes uh, maybe I should make one of those as it happens so here what have I got here I have got a elevator box so White wool, it can actually be any colours wool. Around uh, pearl will give us an elevator block. I want to make two of those, because we're going to go travelling up. Here I've got some dye. This is dye essence. We made that, or maybe it didn't, I don't know. I can't remember if I actually made it or not. But that, we can make green dye with that. So with the green dye and the elevator blocks, we can make some green elevators. Like that. And here I have got uh, the upgrade for storage drawers. And then with those upgrades, I can make these, these illumination upgrades. Uh, they're actually quite neat, so I'll have a look at those now. In the mob spawn, it's a bit dark, and you actually can't see very well. I've got 16, I think that's more than enough. Uh, I think eight's not quite enough. So come along here, for example, you just right click one of these onto that, like that. And then it illuminates it like this and you can see what you've got in the in the tank or in the chests which is cool i think it's really neat this one i'm not going to put on because there's no well it's just a temporary one so anything that ends up in this chest goes straight down into here and in here we're getting all sorts of bits and pieces that's quite nice very handy and when do we put the uh when we use a quantity key I can't do a quantity key i need um some uh, an ink sack from a squid which we have to go and get one. But it's, cause sometimes it's quite dangerous outside. I did a bit of testing and I found out it was a, not as quite as, a, as good as I wanted it to be. So I put these away in here like that. And these as well. I can put those away. And the feral lantern, let's put this down. So what this does, I wanted to put it down around about the middle of the base, which is, I think, a little bit nearer here. So let's put it down beside this loose and it's going to produce light blocks so I can remove these light blocks these torches press the press F7 so we can actually see if there's any dark areas and it will slowly okay, here we've got two this this will torch will probably fill those up before we've actually finished and make light it up it takes a few seconds to light them up so before that happens let's put down the torch down here um, wherever they've gone to oh you see that one just disappeared there so it put down a light, an invisible light here. Uh, and this one's still remaining, so we could just simply uh, click a torch on there. And look, oh, it's gone already. So you see how it works, it's actually doing that. So it'll light up the whole area. So we don't need torches all over the place, which is actually quite nice, because torches, presumably, because they've got flames and animation on them, they'll use up some CPU type stuff. So now, next thing I would like to do Let's come along here and make a lily pad. Lily pads are great. Um, 
what we also would like to probably do is take a, co a stack of cobblestone. And here I've tidied this up a bit. Uh, it was frustrating me. I was looking at it and going, oh, this is such a mess. And I didn't like it at all because it was going down here. And I'd like it all to come into one place here for sieving purposes. So what I've just got here, I haven't moved this particular um, aut iron auto hammer because inside it, as you can see, just from the output here, it's got 1, 9,143 blocks of gravel in there so you can then take these out of here for example that's how much space have we got in here we've got the uh, space in here let's just sort my inventory put the boat down here in case i just take some out like that take out a row and you'll see it gets slowly put in and if you look at here it says this timeout and you'll see the number go down so now it's got a second stack in here as you can see so the stacks are not filling in immediately so they are taking a bit of time so but here of course we can easily Oops, wrong one. I want, yes, wrong place. I want to put them up there, don't I? Is that it? Okay, good. So over here, I'm just going to get the, this is where the cobblestone generator is here. And just and above it, we'll take a, a stack of cobblestone. In fact, just a stack will do. Like that. And that slowly will fill up as, as time goes on. Uh, and then we're going to put in the auto hammers, which are the other two, which have also got, the other one's also got stuff in it. So have a look. We've got 500, well, almost 600 sand, 68 gravel, and 3,600, well, three, almost 3,700 dust. So that will come into this chest as we remove the items. Right. I think it's time to set sail. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to put down somewhere. Um, I'm not sure exactly where we are, but we'll just enable the mini-map, so that's control then. The mini-map is actually not very useful in, when we're down here, because it just shows you what's happening at the surface level of the, wa of the water, which is up there. So we can't see what's going on in here. As far as I understand that, it's the case. Anyway. So I have got a marker somewhere about, so let's look at the map. And here I've got a marker, uh, lift. I've actually put a marker in lift, and, but what is it? Uh, I'm not sure I can actually see this thing. Oh, you can change the colour by right-clicking it. And you can rename it, but I need to know what its position is. I'm not 100% sure what that position is. So, But it's around about here somewhere. We can should be able to see it. If I go back further, <laughs> further away, we should be able to see this lift marker. Oh, there it is. So I was going to put a marker. I'm going to put a lift around about here. We'll put a lift in. Here. We'll put one of those lifts in here. It, basically, it's an elevator block. I'm just going to use green. Doesn't really matter what colour I use, and we'll just stand on this, and then we'll write down the, that position. We only need the X and the Z, which is two six nine and four eight six one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the boat here. No, the boat. We're going to take the sea moth. We just break it with a pickaxe. You break it with a pickaxe, it goes straight into your inventory. It's rather nice, like, like that, as you can see. Uh, no durability. Try breaking with something else, it takes quite a bit of effort. So over here, we have a possibility of getting out without too much difficulty. Having a quick look around if there's any mobs around. There aren't too many at the moment. I'll tell you what are oh, very dangerous. So they, um, uh, they drowned with a, with a trident. Oops, didn't want to do that. Ah, because that'll break all my plants. So let's just put, let's just put the water back again, uh, something back in this block here. So I've, got, I've got some gravel, ah, oh, some dirt, let's put the dirt here. That should allow the water just to drop down into here. So I remove this sand block here, then the water's going to drop down there like that. That's what I meant to do in the first place. I remove another sand block here like that. And we can then go out. We've got our, we've got our suit on, so we've got the rebreather one, so I got the, the souped up version of this. So out we go. Let's put down the sea moth here and get in it and just and move away as fast as we can, because I can actually hear a mob. So what we can do now is we can come up roughly around where we want to be. And you'll see it's just using power. It's not using any, um, anything else. What am I doing? Pressing right, I think I was actually pressing a button. So, he so here we are, we'll just get out here. And then that's the point. So I'm going to swim along to this point Get in my hand the uh, lily pad. I don't think there are any mobs around at the moment. 
So I need a position 269. It doesn't like the, exactly matter. I'm at 270. So we'll just put the lily pad down like that. And then we'll just go underneath it here. And then we'll just take a block of cobblestone and put it underneath it like that. So we can actually put that on there. And then we can get up here. So now 269, it was... Actually, I'm almost exactly right. I just need to be 69, which is this block. I think... So what we do then is we put the elevator block down here. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> oh, dear. I want that in my hand. Let's break this block. I'm sure it's this block. And then we should put the elevator block here. Stand on it. Or oh, we'll put a torch down before we actually start as well. We've got just an ordinary torch. I should really make one of those feral lanterns and go down here. And then press shift. And we're sure enough, we're out in base. Perfect. Let's go back up again. Now... The sea moth is just here, so we'll leave it for the time being. Oh, where's it gone to? It's over that island there. So what we'll do is we'll put down the boat. Like this. And we'll get into it. Right, click it to get into it. And then you can press I for inventory. And it shows you a little inventory in it. We've got one row of inventory. If I make a different ship, we'll get more or less, whichever the case may be. In fact, I think I'll... Go back on. I'll just go back to base and get rid of some of the stuff I've got with me. So I'm back again. So the the buttons for this by default is J and K. So J will lower the sail and K will actually put it up again. And if we press R, it will completely put the sail right down. Uh, as you can see, it's not so easy to see, but we go a little bit further to this island. It won't break up. Sometimes you've got to be careful with these ships. They do break up. So just press that get out this is what we haven't done yet so come and have a look at this island oops thank sometimes it's not so easy right here we go so here we got two crates and they'll use to use a standard uh axe to break these actually i could turn off f7 now couldn't i need it on when we're up here and then we break this one we'll see what we get for loot we get some good loot sometimes, uh, and we get some rotten loot sometimes. Well, we've got a, da a drowned head, some string, uh, an apple glass mycelium, which is actually quite handy, and some leather boots. I have to get back on the ship, and they go to the next island. Um, so to steer, you just press it's D, it's the D and the W. We can press, we can also row, of course. It's not when it's just a short distance like this about our row. And get out of here. What's happening here? Am I being attacked? Oh, I'm being attacked, aren't I? I have to move. <laughs> right. Nasty. I think he was shooting tridents at me, so there we are. Did I get hit? No, I didn't, thankfully. Let's break this chest here. This time we've got a, a name tag and a music disc. The other bits and pieces might we've got some might have got some more string. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, I was going to put these down, wasn't I? Uh, the Merrill the Merrill tank um, torches. Can I put them down anyway? Yes, I can. Good. Um, maybe it would be sensible to put them on the corners. Um, you can't put them everywhere. You've got to pick them on the right place. So <laughs> it's probably easiest to see if you press F7 again. But obviously now I've put them down. We're not going to see any dark patches. So we break this. This one here, and we got uh, do we get this a bed? We got some wetsuit leggings, and we got some dialectic paste from Power. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't played with Power Mod at all, so we'll have a look at that one. Let's get back into the boat here and go to the next one. And this one's got a gold chest on it, and uh, and the chests do make a difference as to what rewards you get. So let's get out of this one. I think if I get to, if I just turn around a bit, I'll do it the other way. And I get the back end near to the to here, and then press shift. We might be able to get straight out onto the island. Yeah, we can. So here we've got a gold barrel. And we there used to be a quest for this. So what do we get there? We got some consumption upgrades from FTB Sluice. Aha! Uh -huh. So that reduces the cost, the fluid cost by five percent. Now the FB, FTB Sluice stuff is is when we get netherite. And I'm working hard on that as it happens. So let's break this one here. What time do we get there? What do we get there? So we've got a creepo. So this is a... So it's actually rarity. It's common, so it's fairly common. We've also got this diving mask in here. Um, 
I just got a, a quest reward, but I'm not sure what that was for. Uh, well, let's have a look at that in a minute. In fact, let's have a look at this before I carry on. So, at the FTB, structures, I think it is, we have the different types of chests. So, for example, if you look at the uses of that by pressing the right the right button, so the gold chest will tell you what type of loot you're going to get into it. So we can get all sorts of things. We can get this projectile projection and all these different rewards. We can get debris, 4% chance. Most of the stuff in here is going to be, it's not too bad as it happens. So let's have a look at the next one along here with next barrel would be a black barrel. And from that, we just get sea pickles, 100% chance of sea pickles. A red barrel will give us, this is another one. So we're not going to find these on the overworld. But whenever we get to the nether, you can see there's quite a lot of bits and pieces that we can get. I'm not sure what this one is, the treasure bag from Lost Trinkets. We'll have to find one of those. So the purple, the purple one looks like it's a, a fairly good one because it's giving you diamond type stuff. Uh, it gives you a book as well. Ah, uh, yes, this looks too reasonably good. Like that. And then the next one along was blue, which we only find underwater. I think it should tell me somewhere where we find these things. So we can get slime balls, upgrades, uh, iron chests, a cyan cooler. I'm not exactly sure. That. An obsidian boat and all the bits and pieces like this. And then that's... That's the blue barrel. You can only get that underwater. The green barrel is here. So this is all sorts of slimy type things, but look, so actually you get mana diamonds. That's quite nice as it happens. And this one gives you quite a lot of stuff that looks actually quite impressive. And it even gives you a magnet. I'd like a flux of magnet to be dead on for you. So what, about, what one was that one? That was a green barrel. So the next one is a white barrel. So that's oh, we get turtle eggs and armor and Purple carpet, less interesting this one. The other ones are more interesting, but we also get all the sets of diving masks. And then there's a small crate from Feed the Beast Structures. And we can get stuff in there. I'm not sure I've seen a small crate. And then the crate, and it tells you what you get in here as well. So you've got quite a lot of things you can get from in here. So let's have a look. It's night time as it happens, but we should be okay. It doesn't matter so much when when we're on on the ocean. So let's just get into this boat over here. I'm not sure if more mobs spawn at night. Anyway, I'm going to carry on and do a little bit more looting, so to speak. And I'll see you in a short while when we're back at base. Well, I'm back for a minute because I found my first pulsating crate. And I think the rewards are then quite good. But as you can see, my inventory is completely full. But we've got a bit of luck. We've got some wood here. So let's just take the wood. Take this wood. Can I do it like this? We can make a crafty. Oh, we can't make a crafty. Oh, we can make a crafting table. I was thinking we can't make a crafting table. We can. Let's just put that down here. Take the crafting table. I want the crafting table, actually. Let's throw away something else. I don't need apples. Uh, there we got the crafting table. Let's put that into my hot bar. And then put this down somewhere. Um, it's, it doesn't really matter where I put it down. We can put this down anywhere. Like that. And then we can make a chest. <laughs> things are hopping around as I'm doing things, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll put this chest, get rid of that stuff. Get that rid of that. It'll fall down, it'll come back again. So let's just put the chest down somewhere like here. And then we can put some of the useless stuff that we've got, we picked up. We've got lily pads, for example. Uh, leather horse armor, we don't need that. Botany pads are quite nice. Um, Slime sling, not sure. Minor speed, these are fridge lights, McCall's furniture. Got two cobblestone, oh, that's compressed cobblestone. Um, and a few other pieces. We'll just, what we'll do is just mark this place here as a marker. Uh, and then we know where we are, so we've got, let's put a marker on it. How do I do that? Forgotten. Ah, is it a map? And then just right click here and you say marker, add waypoint. So we'll just say cram chest. Like that, accept that. We can then go and pick this up, this bit of wood up here. Just, they came back as I said they would do. And we can put into here these, those bits. We've actually got wetsuit leggings twice. Lots of records, which we obviously probably don't need. I'll put these into here. I don't think there's anything special about that. So let's break this pulsating crate. Pickaxe. 
What do we get from that? We've got a broken totem, right link to learn. So uh, protect your life. Actually, that was the only thing I've got. Oh, I think I've got this miners upgrade. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Almost finished here. When when we're finished, I'll come back and I shall take this with me because it doesn't do any harm to have a, a crafting uh, a table with you. Let's just go onto the boat here. I'll see you in a minute or two. Well, I'm back. So let's have a go. I've got a load of stuff. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to make a couple of iron chests. Um, if I can find them, they're fairly straightforward. And anyway, I know the recipe for them. Just eight iron around a uh, around a chest. But yes, here we go. Look. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the upgrade from wood to iron because that's fairly straightforward. Like this. I'm going to make two of these. I don't want to make eight, I'll just make two. Just took that down and make these. So we've got an iron chest here. We can get rid of this. That should go away. It actually wants to go in here. I must have used up enough for it to go in there. And I'm going to go and upgrade it. Uh, one of these chests. I'm actually going to upgrade this chest here first of all because it's getting a little bit full. And I'm going to create another iron chest and I've lost the upgrade. What did I do with it? Did I put it away? Oh, I did. I thought I made two. Maybe I didn't make two. <laughs> okay, so we just right take this iron uh, chest upgrade and right click this on here like this. Yeah, and you see it opened up, and you can see here I've got actually some debris scraps. What I need from here is two and a half stack or two and a quarter stacks of that, and then we can make the next thing. Let's do it like this, um, which will be um, some netherite ingots. Oh, yes, we should be able to make some netherite ingots for, and then we can make the seed, which won't be too difficult. So, the last thing. I want to do today is to make oh I needed to make an iron chest didn't I? I wanted to do that and I haven't gone up to the boat to get the rest of this stuff that I got as loot so what we'll do is make a quick iron chest where's it gone to and we'll put our loot in the iron chest like this so any chest will do and we can make an iron chest fantastic uh we'll put this down it doesn't really matter where i put it i'll put it down here and then we can put all of this stuff in here because this is what we've got as loot and we've even got a botany pot from loot as well which is quite nice uh they probably should do this one as well this is a right click chance to call it undying when you're about to die that might be quite useful let's right click it it's a trinket uh and it probably opens up a quest as well so in here do control and i uh, have i got enough spaces I can learn this trinket here, so we've got that one active. The next trinket slot was, uh, I think it was 21 XP, or oh, 18 XP. I should be able to do that as well. We should have enough XP over there. Let's go back upstairs here. Just get out of the out of the ship. Press I to get the inventory out of here. I've got all these bits and pieces as well, which I forgot. Let's get out again. Go back to the little island. What I'll do is I'll build some structure around this. A <laughs> little island, a little tiny. <laughs> Press shift and go down again. So we can put this into here as well. So that was our loot for today. I think I don't. Have I left anything? Oh, I've both. I've got my pick. For some reason, I put that in there. So I reckon that's not bad for one particular trip. Uh, obviously, we need some better inventory for that. So what we can do is we can take some shulker shells here. Uh, one thing I should also make is the key. I need to get, yeah, I'm trying to make that. I've got four shulker shells in here. Let's take them out. Let's make some shulker boxes. So they're actually pretty good for doing, uh, traveling to the end, or uh, not to the end, when we're actually exploring. So we're just a couple of chests and let's just put those down in the middle of that. Make two of those. And then we can, I'm going to color one of those green, I think. And then we maybe we make a green bed or something like that because that would be a sensible thing to do. So we know we've got a distinction between the two. Um, I've got a red bed there. I don't need to make a green bed. We could actually colour the other one. But I'll leave it like that for the time being. So the last thing to do today is actually do the quest. Let's get those. Have a look through what we've got through here. We, I've got lost trinkets. So we've actually got a lost trinket. And then we get a random reward for that, which is a grey laser lens. I wonder how difficult those are actually to make. Well, 
I've not even thought about it, to be honest with you. And then we've got miscellaneous. So what did we do in miscellaneous? So, oh, I made the feral lan lanterns, which is good. And then we get an imperial, oh, that's nice, imperium karma. And then we got storage. So I did the upgrades. So we got some, oh, we got some blessed earth. Oh, that's not bad, actually. And then we get a, a random reward, which is flux point. Oh, that's good as well. We can, in fact, make these, but what I'm going to do with 16 blessed earth, we might actually use that. And we'll get some animals upstairs like that. Flux point is from Flux Networks. We've got the grey laser lens as well. We'll put that in there because that belongs in there. Looks like I've got to upgrade these two chests as well. Um, I'm not sure. Thermal series, I'm not sure if I've got. I'll sort it out of my own time. It's no big deal. Let's have a look. So all the quests. I don't know. We've got some more quests. Probably. Uh, oops. I did I press there? Must have misclicked and got my team. My team of one is not great. So there we are. Uh, miscellaneous, I've got some more miscellaneous. Oh, I've got blessed earth now, of course. <laughs> it gives us blessed earth, gives us blessed earth. That's not too bad. Uh, a good round of reward. And storage. Oh, I did the large crate as well. Oh, and we get some redstone clusters for that, which is pretty good. Of course, obviously, the best place to put redstone clusters in here. 64. Wow, that's good. Uh, and that basically makes redstone dust and reasonable quantities as well. I think it's 12 plus per per item. I can also do this as well. I can remove, I can auto auto feed this into this, into this drying basin. That'll be in the hopper. Let's take it out. Uh, I probably should take the hopper with me. Let's do that as well. Just in case you haven't seen this, dead easy to do. Let's just dig down one block here. Oh, that's weird. Double sound. We put the hopper back down here. In fact, if I face it in this direction over here, and then I just put on top of that the drying basin, step back a bit, and then we could just take a fluid pipe. Now in this chest here, I put my stuff that I was had with me before we went on to our travels. Um, I put that up there. I should have put that away somewhere, probably in this chest over here. It's my resources chest. Oh, actually, I could put it in the um, into the sorting system over there. I'm pretty sure I did show you that. Anyway, never mind. Let's just put this down here like this because I'm going over time now. But I think it's worth showing this just in case. And then you shift right click this into here like that, and that's going to fill this up with this mineral resin, which is then going to set. And then in here we will get the uh, mineral blocks of crystallized mineral like that. And that'll just suddenly work out, empty all this, all of this out, so I don't have to do it manually. Uh, we have plenty of that for it whenever we need it. Fantastic. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>